Okay, I'm going to make one more change here. Go back to configuration and to edit. I'm going to set this back to 7 so that we are seeing all syslog messages and we should see it's going to actually clear out that log but we just cleared it so it doesn't matter and then I'm going to pause for a second I'm going to actually create a bunch of syslog messages on the local router well on the local router that will also be sent to the syslog server so bear with me okay so I created a bunch of syslog messages on the device and actually we can see these they have come through on our syslog server. Let's go back to monitor and it will pop us into logging. And that's what I thought. This will actually update automatically if you navigate away from here. So you don't always have to hit this update. You can if you want. What I wanted to show you was the search feature. Go ahead and hit search. In this case, we want serial zero slash zero because I just want to see the messages that refer to 00 slash 0 that and there's just a 2 so here where I admin shut it and then when I brought it back up it went down because there's nothing connected there the search feature is actually pretty cool and it works a whole lot better when you've got a ton of messages in there it's actually one of the things I do like about the SDM for syslogging go ahead and close that out and one other thing I wanted to show you this is kinda of cool too is that you can sort on severity time or description I don't know why generally you want to have it sorted by time but it's nice to you know in this case we have the oldest at the bottom if you want the oldest messages at the top just go ahead and click that uh, you can also let's set this back to normal you can also check a logging level to view so and say you just want to see all the errors go ahead and click errors and there you go it's just those two right there I think errors is level three and I think that should wrap it up. Uh, one thing I showed on the other lesson, the other lesson was about configuring remote syslogging on a Cisco router, but it was geared towards a CLI rather than the SDM. I did show a packet capture. I'm not going to do that this time. I don't want to go through the uh, setup for that. But basically keep in mind that by default, and you can't change the defaults on here, you can't really set it up to use TCP or anything special on here is it it's going to be using UDP 5 port 514 and it's going to be sent in clear tech if you have somebody on your network that's setting up a packet capture and they intercept one of these packets they can get information out of here because it's going to have all this information right here now there's not a lot on here it's not obviously sending passwords but it will at least show if you're using um, authentication it will generate some messages that do show usernames so in this case you know, the hacker would be part of the way there because you'd know that there was a user on the this router with the username packet lab that obviously has if not level 15 some high level because I he was able to get it in and configure the router so just keep that in mind that these are not secure messages other than that I think that's gonna wrap it up thanks once again for joining me in the packet lab and I hope this helps you on your way to being a network god and I hope to see you again soon